Got it? Yep. All right. Everybody thinks the wind up is hard to learn or hard to do. I see a lot of kids being taught to stretch first. Um, but let me, I just want to show you today that it's really not that, not that hard to, you know, to, to do the wind up. It's as simple as one, two, three. First of all, of course, I'm right handed. So I'm representing all the, all the right handed pitchers in the world. But here we go. You got my feet? Yes, sir. You see my feet? All right. So, first thing you do, you're going to start out like this, facing home plate. Of course, the stretch. You start out from the side. From the wind up, you're facing the catcher. And it's real simple. It's three steps. Three simple steps in the wind up. Okay? You're going to take a small step with your left foot. Small step, not too big. We don't want a big step. We want a small step so we can stay centered and stay balanced. Small step. Then we're going to turn our right foot and get into the rubber good. And if ever, if ever you want to take your eyes off the target, this is the time to do it. I used to look down just for a second and get my foot in front of the rubber to make sure it was in there good. It's not on the side or not crooked or anything like that. Make sure it's in, in front of the rubber and where it's supposed to be. I would look down for a split second and then my eyes would come back up. When my leg starts coming up, eyes are on the target, leg comes back down, ball comes out, and rock and roll. So it's three easy steps. All we got is small step, get into the rubber, and then yeehaw. One, two, three. One, two, three.